In this video, I'll cover everything you need to know about the eight styles of barefoot shoes so that you can decide which ones are best for you. First up are the classic or true barefoot shoe. This type has all the natural features of a barefoot shoe. These are a wide foot shaped toe box that does not squish the toes together, zero drop, which means no heel lift or toe spring, a thin and flexible outer sole and no arch support. Because of these natural design elements, most people will find classic barefoot shoes the best fit for their everyday lifestyles, but they can be pretty demanding on the feet at first, so a gradual transition to these shoes is recommended. For help in this department, check out the barefoot shoe transition plan over at the Barefoot Strength Academy, link down below. The next class is the transitional barefoot shoe. These types of barefoot shoes have the wide foot shaped toe box. They are zero drop, meaning they have no raised heel, but their soles are a little chunkier than classic barefoot shoes, usually thicker than about seven millimeters. These kinds of shoes are good for those who are just getting into barefoot style footwear, but are not yet ready to go with that super minimal sole. This may be because you like having some cushion under your feet, or because your feet are too weak to handle the muscular demands of wearing extreme extremely flexible soles. Either way, these transitional shoes may be a good first step in your barefoot journey. Now, if you're wondering who creates transitional barefoot shoes or any other style mentioned in this video, then follow the link below to a blog post where we listed all our favorite pairs in each of these eight categories, together with discount codes for the various brands. The third style of shoes are essentially classic barefoot shoes, but with wider toe boxes. They are made for people with extra wide feet. They can also accommodate the growing trend of wearing silicone toe spaces in your shoes. If you're wondering, why would someone do such a thing? Well, it's primarily done for toe realignment purposes. And it works. A paper published in 2017 found that those who wore silicone toe spreaders in conjunction with wide toe box footwear showed a significant improvement in their bunions after only 12 months. So the shoes have to be a little wider in order to accommodate the large toe splay you get while wearing the toe separators. Of course, we have also linked to the various toe spaces we have tried and tested in the blog post linked below. The next class of shoes on our list are technically minimalist shoes due to their thin and flexible soles, but they don't have the foot-shaped toe box we see in true barefoot shoes. Common examples of these types of minimalist shoes are Vans, All Stars, and Bayous. While these shoes are an improvement on traditional footwear that have no barefoot characteristics, we still cannot recommend them due to their insufficient toe box widths. My research and experience in the space has led me to believe that having a naturally shaped toe box is the most important feature of a shoe. The feet need to have the space to be in proper alignment and to move freely for balancing and stability purposes. And this cannot happen if the toes are squeezed together. Anyway, moving on. This next category is for barefoot shoe socks, which I like to call shocks. They're a new type of barefoot shoe that is very minimal in design. They are basically just socks with a thin rubberized undersole. This type of design gives you the most ground feel and foot mobility possible. Now, if you're used to going barefoot, then you might be able to handle these socks. They work your feet hard. But if you're not used to being barefoot, Foot, then it might be too much for you. Personally, I've found the shocks to be very useful in a bunch of scenarios, like in the gym, for running, and as water shoes. But like all barefoot shoes, shoe socks should also have a wide toe box so your toes can stay in good alignment. Now, if you have ever searched for barefoot shoes on Amazon or AliExpress, then you will probably get loads of water shoes in the results. These neoprene-based shoes are often marketed as barefoot shoes. We have tested a few pairs on this channel, and the ones with wide enough toe boxes are actually not too bad. Plus, they are usually under 50 bucks, so we would recommend them for first-time buyers who want to give the barefoot shoe game a try without spending too much out the gate. The Vibram Five Fingers are the seventh type of barefoot shoe on our list. These shoes were some of the first to start the barefoot shoe craze more than a decade ago. The producers designed them to look like feet, with each toe having its own slot. This way, they can move independently just like when we're barefoot. I think that this concept works well. You feel free when you wear them, and they are popular, so many people must feel the same way. But they can take some getting used to, especially if you have advanced bunions. If you do have a great toe misalignment problem, then I recommend watching our video on the best shoes for bunions, which I'll also link down below. And last but not least, we have the category dedicated to barefoot sandals. These kinds of sandals have thinner, more flexible soles compared to regular sandals and usually also have a heel strap feature which makes them suitable for running. You get ones with a more rugged sole, suitable for trail and slicker designs can be used for road running. But again, like with barefoot shoes, a slow adaptation is recommended when beginning to run in them. We have also found the toe thong design to be best because it prevents the toes from being squeezed together which is a problem with a toe strap design. Barefoot sandals are also relatively cheap 
cheap, so there might be another option for those unwilling to spend too much at the beginning of their barefoot journey. And of course, they are must have for the summer months. Anyway, that concludes our video. If you found value in this content, you know what to do. But until next time, cheers.